Many of the same corn diseases that affect our farmers' fields are also gonna cause problems with sweet corn. Fortunately though, because we harvest sweet corn as a fresh crop, we harvest it earlier, and so most of those diseases do not have a big impact on the way we use our sweet corn for table use. However, there is one disease in particular that a lot of our gardeners note. It's more of an oddity than it is a problem, and it's called common smut or just corn smut. And so our gardeners may first notice that this disease may look like tumors or even mushrooms. And those are galls actually caused by the fungus growing in the sweet corn. And this particular fungus causes an excessive growth in the cells that it infects. Well, this fungus actually survives over winters in the soil. And so every year you can have the potential for having a reinfection. And so the fungus may infect through the silks and infect ears, and that's when it's probably the most recognizable. But it can actually infect any part of the plant, whether it's on the leaves or the stalk, or like I mentioned, on, on the ears themselves. As these galls expand and they mature, they'll develop a papery covering over them and large quantities of very tiny black dust-like spores are produced inside. And so that's what's going to overwinter in the soil. Well, this is also going to make a mess of things for you as you begin to use this product. And so this is what people find undesirable, but actually it doesn't harm the corn that you're gonna eat. And so as far as management and what to do about it, if you see these galls developing on your plants in the garden, don't worry about making a fungicide application. That's really not gonna help because this is a local infection. And so when you take these ears inside after you harvest them, simply trim off that affected part of the, of the ear and get it out of the way if you don't wanna eat that. And so uh, for future years, if you find that this is a common problem for you, you can always switch varieties using more resistant varieties of sweet corn. Sweet corn tends to be more susceptible than field corn, and so you may see it more commonly than a lot of our farmers. Finally, if you're not bothered by this and you want to try something new, you can actually eat these galls. Many people in Mexico eat them as a delicacy, and it's called huilacoche and you can look up recipes on how to use it, and it's becoming increasingly common in our American cuisine in some of our finer restaurants. So you may find recipes for corn truffles or Mexican corn truffles. 